I never knew the old Vienna before the war with its Strauss music, its glamour and easy charm. That was, of course, the first line of one of the greatest films ever made, The Third Man, a classic film noir set and filmed here in Vienna. Part of it was filmed underneath the city, in the sewers. And you can visit those sewers if you take part in The Third Man Tour. Hello, my name's Chris Cummins and this edition of Vienna Now is dedicated to the topic of film. From art house cinemas to the famous sites you'll recognise from legendary movies. And if you come to Vienna and think, I'd like to make a film here, we'll introduce you to someone who can tell you exactly how to do it. One of the most iconic scenes in the film The Third Man is set in a car in the giant Ferris wheel, this Riesenrad as it's called in German. In 1949 everything in Vienna was gritty and dark and of course the film is in black and white. So why don't we see what the Ferris wheel looks like today? It is without doubt one of Vienna's most recognisable landmarks. Inside, in one of the big red cars of the Ferris wheel, you have the best view over the city, almost 200 feet up. The Ferris wheel was built in 1897. In 1916, there were plans for its demolition. Luckily, because of a lack of funds for its destruction, it survived. The square in front of the Ferris wheel is also the entrance to Vienna's biggest amusement park, Prater. Prater has kept up its unique old charm while being modernised in the last decades. Today it has some advanced and thrilling rides. After all that excitement, you might want to relax in the green Prata. Its vast meadows, woods and water areas are the ideal environment for outside activities of any kind. Action, romance, comedy, horror, nature and film noir. Like in the movies, all the good stuff can be found here at the bottom of the Ferris wheel. Many filmmakers and scouts must think, wow, Vienna's rather picturesque, why not make our film there? That's certainly what the producers of the Mission Impossible franchise thought. And so recently we had Tom Cruise doing some stunts right on the roof of the State Opera Building. And the woman who made that possible is Mariana Stoisitz, the head of the Vienna Film Commission. My name is Mariana Stoichitz. I'm the Managing Director of the Vienna Film Commission. The Vienna Film Commission is an institution by the City of Vienna. Our task is to serve film productions that try to shoot in Vienna. We have fantastic uh, locations, especially the, the first district is a great location for any kind of film. We have, we have theatres, we have uh, opera houses, we have old buildings, we have a lot of palaces and we have a lot of old coffee houses too. We also have a lot of modern architecture. Everything you want to have for a, a production, we do have in Vienna. I think Mission Impossible is the most famous production actually. Um, Woman in Gold, the third man a little bit quite long ago, but still a very all over the world, very well known film. Vienna is the hotspot for filming. We have the biggest film festival in Austria. It takes place in Vienna, the Biennale, every fall. So Vienna is the film hub of Austria. 
My favorite cinema is of course the Gartenbau Kina, the biggest uh, cinema in Vienna. Then the film casino. The Stadtkino. And then the Votiv Kino. And did you know what other movies were filmed here in Vienna? Movies make it possible. Vienna's Hofburg Palace all of a sudden became the French king's residence in Paris in The Three Musketeers. The Sissy trilogy about Empress Elizabeth of Austria of course was filmed in its original setting, the Schönbrunn Palace. A certain British spy came to Vienna once. James Bond. During his mission in The Living Daylights, 007 shares a kiss on top of the Ferris wheel and he prevents an assassination at Vienna's Volksoper. Richard Linklater's critically acclaimed and rather romantic movie Before Sunrise shows a contemporary version of Vienna. It's shot in more than 20 different locations, most of them in the inner city. Well, that's it from me for this time. I'm going to continue on the trail of the third man. Maybe I'll spot another couple of locations I recognize from the famous film. And next week on Vienna Now, we'll go shopping and we'll take a glimpse at the Vienna fashion and design scene. Remember, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.